Hello. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Before I begin, I have to tell you a joke that my mom, my dad wants me to tell you. How many of you went to Gallaudet? Gallaudet alumni? All right. Well represented. How many of you went to RIT and TID? Okay. There's a group of you over there. Very well. One day, there was a Gallaudet football player. He was a broad-shouldered fellow. He was walking down the street when he noticed a group of here people gathered around. He got curious and approached them. He noticed that all of their eyes were feasting upon the top of a tree. Then, on the tree, on a branch, hanged precariously a cat. A mighty wind shook the tree, and the cat went airborne. The hearing people were aghast. The guy, a football player, who was a smart fella, took off running and dove for the airborne feline. He caught him in his hands. The hearing people cheered at this. And the gal that put my the My dad hates cats. <laughs> All right, time for a survey. Or uh, time to test your deaf culture. My name is Keith Wan. This is my name sign. Now it's your turn to give me your names. Go, start finger spelling. You are obviously a sloppy finger spelling. You are obviously an ingredient, sir. You guys are lazy. You're not even signing. You're the right. Okay, okay, all right. Better do the survey. Let's go ahead and see who is here. If you are an ASL student, let me hear you scream. You guys are way behind. Once again, if you're an ASL student, let me hear you scream! <laughs> Alright! ASL student pride. If you're an interpreter, let me hear you scream! <laughs> yeah, you guys got that. Obviously interpreters. Who here is a video relay service interpreter? Let me hear you scream. <laughs> None! None came out. The reason why? You're not used to three-dimensional environments. <laughs> How many of you are coders? Let me hear you scream! <laughs> oh, God, there's a lot of you. Yep, it was a cheap show, but we don't have to so you guys could afford it. How many of you all are hearing people who know no sign language, but you're here because your girlfriend is an ASL once to make it Yeah, 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 everyone's like, That person, let me hear you. Yeah! Holy cannoli, good speech there. <laughs> Before the show began, I was out hiding, watching the crowd, and I have to tell you all here in New Hampshire, you guys don't know ASL. You're using the wrong sign language. Look, I'm from California. And we invented sign language. <laughs> For example, how do you all sign walk? 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 That's not conceptually accurate. Walk. <laughs> Wait, what is that? What is that? What's another sign?
I'm in last place. And I'm pregnant. <laughs> So, I am Koda, which means I'm hearing, but was raised by a deaf family who loved me very much, but I'm also part of the hearing world. As I was growing up, I noticed both worlds are different. The hearing world and the deaf world. Let me give you a few comparisons. Hearing people, for example, are very rude. While they converse, they never make eye contact. They look like this. It is crucial to maintain eye contact. It looks like this. You won't say. You won't say. Psst, where's the free food? Here, people are too polite when they get each other's attention. They look like this.
Let me tell you what happened last week at the airport. I was sitting down waiting for my flight. A deaf man was on my left. He noticed another deaf man way on the right. So if you got his attention by creating a wave, you're shook. It isn't. Are you, Tim? Why, yes, how did you know? Oh, you look strong, Dad. Your world, I go up to people and go, excuse me, are you hearing? You look strong hearing. Okay. Excuse me, are you hearing? You look strong hearing. Oh, all right. Excuse me, are you fat? You look strong hearing. <laughs> but I've noticed there's something that is not fair between the two cultures. Deaf people can do, deaf people cannot do something that hearing can't, which is tell secrets. Here, people are very good at telling secrets. It looks like this. is different. <laughs> and we burn our rectus trying to get popcorn. That's how deaf people become blind. This was very confusing to me. So the next day when I got to school, I went up to a sixth grader, I was in fourth grade at the time, 
He was a coda as well, smarter than I was. He, looked, he noticed I was very distressed and asked me, and I went, are our parents really deaf? His response was, between you and me? No, they're not. Your parents are just ignoring you. <laughs> so that's when I realized what it meant to be deaf and hearing, and I became mischievous. Super coda. One day, I was watching a rated R movie filled with profanity, and I was learning the words that they were saying on screen. My mother came in and said, oh, look at Keith, he's laughing. I wonder what he's, I wonder what he's watching. <laughs> I was growing up relied on me. 
If somebody knocked on the door, I went, mom, 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 somebody shut the door. If the phone rang, I would go, mom, 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 the phone is ringing. Then that I think about it, I felt a little bit like a dog, an Irish setter. <laughs> anyway, that night was the first time in my life that I told a lie. Okay, whatever, it's like the 300th time I told a lie. My mother went, Keith, you lie, you bad boy, you. And I went, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, mom, hold on. Um, I hear her knocking at the door. <laughs> oh, okay, go on then, my little Irish setter. She called my dad over. They both went to check the door. They walk, 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 the door. They opened it. There's nobody there. My mom turned to my dad and said, Our son is a liar! They both looked at me and I went, Hold on! I think maybe it was the Jehovah's Witnesses. They came and left. See if there are any watchtowers there on the ground. My mom said, You troublemaker, get over here! My deaf parents, when they disciplined me, it looked like this. Get over here! Get over here, get over here. <laughs> I'm going to set me on her lap, pull my pants down, and say, I. What are you doing? I. I. It took three hours, three hours for one English sentence. I was scared, I was scared. I ran around avoiding the spanking. Wait, mom, wait, wait, wait. My parents were like, what? <laughs> What is it? What is it? Um, I learned a poem at school. Family is the title. <laughs> Here I go. F is for father, A is for aunt, M is for mother, I is for moi, L is for Y is for you. My parents went, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, Keith, <laughs> sweetie, where's that? We hate English. <laughs> I remember the day my parents decided to buy a light system for the house. When somebody knocked on the door, a light would flash. When the phone rang, a light would flash. But did my parents buy a regular little itty bitty 60 watt light bulb? Oh no. You guys know the police helicopter lights? You stop ah! criminals. <laughs> yeah, my mother bought one of those. Look what you So when a light would flash in the house, you're going to seizures. Our light system caused blackouts in the entire neighborhood. The house next door would look like this. Bah! Bah! <laughs> and here, people. <laughs> Didn't know what to do. You better light a candle. Somebody's visiting the death house again. Mm -hmm. Here, children, you are lucky because when a baby cries, your parents are there to hold you and take care of you. My experience was different. I was in my crib, jail. <laughs> And I got hungry. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Jack! The third time I screamed so loud, I went red and blacked out. <laughs> that was the precise moment that my parents decided to come in. <laughs> Olympic! I raise the oil wheat! Don't be in I remember the day my parents decided to buy a light system for the entire house. They put one in the bedroom, light in the bathroom. Light in the den, light everywhere. Next morning, when I got hungry, I woke up, 
screamed, and the lights went off like crazy in my room. Whoa! Yeah, I started entertaining myself. It's like a discotheque. I didn't realize that outside, they were hearing people watching this, watching the lights. Wow, the bad that people have awesome Christmas spirit. It's July 22nd. Yeah, that people, they're laying about everything. I mentioned Christmas. I hate Christmas. Because Christmas is not a death holiday, it's strictly a hearing holiday. Hearing people get very excited when they go to the mall, they take pictures with Santa Claus and look like this. Think of a little boy waiting in line to see Santa. Hello, little boy, what do you want for Christmas? I want a Star Wars action figure, a toy airplane, and a football, okay? And the hearing parents, listen in, write down what the child wants, and make a Christmas list. My experience was different. I was in the line at the mall. Mommy, 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 mommy
I mean, mom, 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 I want to be skinny. And my mother's answer would be like, no, you're fat. <laughs> so I would scream my head off, I want candy. Now, help me, Mr. Policeman. My mother is abusing me. She abuses me night and day. Get people hurt hearing people call 911. Somebody give me a hand. That's when I saw the woman's bathroom door. Somebody had just gone in it. Maybe it was my mom. I stuck my hand in there. Nobody answered. So I went ahead and went into the woman's bathroom. And I saw three stalls. What's going on? Okay, let's try the girl. Mom, mom, mom. Hearing woman scream. Second stall. Mom, 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 mom. Hear a woman scream. So, you need to shave. <laughs> <laughs> Went to the third stall. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at all these 
teach sick people. Look, that's not polite. They are just like you in your culture. I don't want to be part of this culture. They're HC. Look at them. What do you, what do you mean by HC? HC. They can't sign. HC means hearing. Can't. HC. Oh, that's so precious. That's so precious. <laughs> so I went in my class and I sat in the last row because I refused to join their HC shenanigans. One day, the teacher wrote on the board, two plus two. And I knew the answer. She said, Keith? <laughs> that night, there was a knock at the one house. My mother answered, or I answered the door. I said, Mom, the HC teacher's here. My mom was like, that's not polite, Keith. Move along, move along, move along. Sit down. You're in trouble, aren't you? Yes, you are. No, oh, Mom, I'm never in trouble. I'm a coda. I'm watching you. My mother let the teacher in and gave her a piece of paper. The paper said, Your son needs speech therapy. Along with the teacher, with the paper, with the bean. Please 
help me come to my house and lay down my carpet. I was going to show that people are very good at manual labor. That can, that can, that can. So I walked by that self to my neighbor's house to help him out. And I laid out the carpet, got to work. And that hairy man was lazy because he gestured to me, I'm going to the store because I'm thirsty. Get out of here, lazy person. You yeah, can. I'm going to get to work. And I worked and I labored. And then it was time to have a cigarette. <laughs> That's when I noticed, oh no, there's a bump on the carpet. <laughs> oh, that hearing person is going to think that can't. I know it's dirty. Is that here yet? <laughs> the hearing man came back and he handed me my cigarettes. I found this over there. <laughs> the hearing man gestured. Hey, Mr. Wan, have you seen my kitten? <laughs> I told you my dad hates cats. <laughs> I saw my parents perform. And I wanted to join them so bad. So I got up in front of everyone and I said, Mom, can I tell a story too? <laughs> okay, son, but you have to use ASL. I will. Uh... <coughs> so I got up to tell my story. But first I told my mom, Mom, can I sign a song? They're deaf. Please. <sighs> Hold on. Do you mind, 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 do you mind? That blind, that blind, do you mind, do you mind, do you mind, do you mind? I don't know what it's like. Um, does he know we're deaf? My mom said, yes, he knows we're deaf. Oh, he's retarded. Oh, our children are retarded too. Go ahead. I was thrilled. All the deaf people were like, what the hell was that? What bat are you talking about? Uh, who taught your son ASL? And my mom went, my husband did, he's mainstream. <laughs> A week went by, and the deaf people gathered as usual. And I went into the room and I went, Mom, 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 can I do it again? My mom was like, hey, no, it's not. <laughs> but Mom, I want to tell a story. I told you, you have to use ASL. I will. <coughs> Hold on. Do you mind, 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 do you mind? That line, look away. <laughs> All that people were like, okay. Mm, whatever. So that was my first real performance. One day, there was a deaf man, and he met a deaf woman. He 
you check her out, they fell in love. And they were driving on their honeymoon looking for a hotel and so on and so forth. And when I was done, all of that people were like, hey, that's not half bad for a retarded girl. So I remember I was so excited I went up to my friends in school the next day. Hey, 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 guys, guys. I have a joke for you, okay? Pay attention. One day, there was a deaf man and a deaf woman. They met, they married, they fell in love, and they were looking for a hotel on their honeymoon, and one boy went, excuse me, this is not open for Q&A, dude. What is it? You said they were deaf, right? Uh, yes, it's a deaf story, I just said. How do deaf people drive? Shut up. <laughs> So I went up and someone else raised their hand. What is it? You said they were deaf, right? <laughs> yes. How did deaf people have sex? <laughs> okay, shut your face. <laughs> and I went on my story and a third boy raised his hand in the air. What is it? You said they were deaf? Yes, I said they were deaf. Capital D deaf. They will sue your ass at the drop of a hat. <laughs> um, how do deaf people eat? <laughs> I don't know. I guess the same way they have sex. Sloppy and loud. <laughs> Some ASL students are like sloppy and loud. Are they sloppy? I loved playing with my father growing up. I remember when he would get home from work, he would hang up his coat, take off his shoes, and I would become a Koda ninja, try to sneak up behind him, try to scare him. Wait a minute, he's deaf. I don't have to be so quiet. When I would hear something, it was my dad. Why? Come here! I go, I kill myself. What? Funny, funny, funny. How you know? No! My mother can talk. Okay, no, she can't. My mother has one sound for every word in the English language. Abu. When my mother calls my name, it sounds like this. Abu! Abu! When my mother is looking for the dog, it sounds like this. Abu! When my mom is outside and it starts raining, it looks like this. <laughs> One day, the family dog escaped, and all night my mother looked and looked and looked for that dog. School. And I realized that all my hearing friends were really freaked out. Guys, what's wrong? Last night we heard a monster screaming all night throughout the neighborhood. <laughs> okay. Anyway, how about you guys come over my house after school? I pray, but we'll play with our Christmas toys. You bring your Star Wars action figure, you bring your airplane, you bring the football, and I'll bring my yellow signing sack English book. <laughs> I'm on page three. So they all came over to my house, and we were playing with our toys when we heard something. Abu! <laughs> and we were freaked out. That's the monster! That's not a monster. That's 
coming from my parents' bedroom. Let's go upstairs. So we made a beeline from my parents' bedroom, and then we heard it again. Let's hurry up and go. Let's see what's going on in my parents' bedroom. And we opened the door and looked at the horrific scene in front of us. And my hearing friend went, Hey Keith, you were right. It is sloppy in my I recently read an article that said that people are the safest drivers around. I strongly disagree. People always tell me, well, here, people, you are all awful drivers. You look like this. So. Well, that's better than what deaf people do. My mother and the family car 1967 Cadillac, a big boat of a vehicle. My mother is 411, she looks like this. <laughs> now, deaf people do not use their hands for driving. Oh no. Because hands are just too important for deaf gossip with the friend of the passenger seat. But deaf people drive like this. Hey, it's what? And the deaf friend is responsible for s <laughs> scanning the air. Hey, I heard David is now divorced. You should date him, girl. He is loaded. He's got SSI, SSDI, SSA. And the deaf friend is like, oh, okay, I might. Hey, 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 there's a tree in my head. Look at, look at, here it comes. My mom is like, what? Oh. <laughs> so anyway, that's a thing, right? I would be in the back, meanwhile. Now, us Kodas, we get bored very easily. I would go ahead and take my mom. She'd be in the front, and I'd bug her. Because I know deaf people hate feeling the vibration. My mom. That's the first time I experienced pissed off deaf house. Whatever, whatever. What are you going to do? Ooh. I told you I should have killed him when I had a chance at adopting a deaf Chinese baby. Then I got really, really, really cocky. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'm going to a friend. Hey, do you mind steering? No problem. My mother would do this. Wow, you little. No, it's a deaf car. All the lights are off. <laughs> well, that makes sense. So she would catch up to the deaf car, try to get their attention. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, they're deaf, I can't on the horn. So she would move some of a flash of light to get their attention. And the deaf car would be like, hey, how are you? Come on, you're like, hey. Did you hear about David? He's the boss now. You should think him. In the back seat, they would also be a coda. We would share that coda spirit to have intelligent coda conversation. In the best for revenge purposes. In the 
1970s, my parents would often go to martial arts movies because they were the only movies at the time that were captioned. Every once in a while, my mom would notice I didn't have much to do, so she would say, Keith, would you like to invite a friend that is hearing? So I would pick the stupid guy that asked you the weird questions about deaf people driving. <laughs> so I would wait until my mother was driving for 50, 60, 120, whatever. <laughs> and the games would begin. I'd be there with my hearing friend in the back, and I would ask my mom, hey mom, 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 mom. What? <laughs> Hurry up, I'm not looking at the road. Um, at the movie theater, can we get some popcorn? Yes. Would he like some popcorn? And my friend would see a flickering finger in front of his face. What did your mom say? Yeah, she doesn't appreciate me mocking that people. She doesn't Once again, I'd be like, mom, 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 mom. What is it? <laughs> um, on the popcorn, can we get some butter? Yes, you can get some butter. Does he want butter? And my friend would see the sign of the cross across his face. What are you say now? She said, you better start praying. Man. She's going to pray you. In the sixth grade, my teacher said, oh, everyone, Keith's parents are special. They're deaf. Keith is going to teach us sign language every Friday. I was like, I don't want it. Too bad. I am hearing and I will impress your people for many years to come. <laughs> so she twisted my arm and the teaching is up. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, W, I'm not learning well. Now, I noticed something. Girls are very expressive when it comes to sign language. Tree. Wow. Fish. Wow. Boys, on the other hand. Tree. Now they don't know sign language. I went ahead and I made up my own. <laughs> A, B, C, D. <laughs> and one night, it was back to school night, and all the parents were invited to talk with the teachers. My teacher said something unexpected. Everyone? Keith's parents are here. They're the deaf people I told you about. Everyone was like, wow. Picture. <laughs> the teacher said, hey, why don't we go ahead and show the wands what Keith taught us? <laughs> Shit. Keith, I'm hearing you. I can hear you.
My parents were like, Keith, what did you do? My answer was, you should have sent me to a deaf school. Oh yeah, I was a troublemaker. I remember deaf church. No, seriously, I attend the church. Oh, I love the deaf church. But I can't go anymore. I have a lifetime ban. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened. I would sit in the back of the congregation practicing my whistling. <laughs> what, they were all deaf. <laughs> Every once in a while, though, an ASL student would show up. Well, who's going to interpret for you? How about that ASL one student that just walked in the door? I do! ASL student? I am an interpreter. <laughs> so I would speak again. One day, the Lord spoke to Noah. Bam! <laughs> 
ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Christ, then you may go to hell. Then you won't go to hell. Now, I would do the natural thing to do and edit, 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 get the golden nugget of the point. My dad said go to hell! How many ASL students in the house? I'm hearing for goodness sake. Scream! All right, well done. You ASL students have weird behavior. Because you never see this happen in Spanish class. Learning, learning, learning Spanish. Learning, learning, learning. Hey look, a brown person. <laughs> Hold up! <laughs> hey, they got what I was saying. This never happens in French class. Learning, learning, learning French. Hey, look, smelly people. <laughs> Shame! You never see this happen in Italian class. Learning, learning, learning Italian. Hey, look, the godfather. <laughs> So why is it that in ASL class this happens? Learning, learning, learning ASL. <gasps> Look, deaf people! Says, yeah, I'm so 
The second group says, Oh, he was so nervous. What if that person looks at me? And then they wet their pants. The third group, What'd they say? So, I will show you what ASL students look like when they get to the deaf social events. I lived there for two years, and one day, 
I found myself a deaf club. And I was very excited to go, so I went in, and I felt just like you. Wow, look at all those deaf people. I put in my pants and everything. And I need to go to the restroom. So I went up to a deaf German guy. He said, what? And I gave him the shaking tea, which means bathroom. And he went, no. So I decided to go ahead and act it out. So I did this. And he went, no, definitely not. Get out of here. No wonder you lost the war. <laughs> so I went, found the bathroom on my own. And when I was done, I went back, studied the room. That guy kept looking at me and just wouldn't stop. So he came over with another deaf German who knew some American sign language. He came up to me and said, excuse me, are you an American? And I did this. Thank you. And he said, clearly you're an American, yes. Look. I know in your country the shaking tea means bathroom, but here in Germany, the shaking tea means I am married, but I don't mind having a little something some on the side of you. <laughs> Can you imagine I was trying to convince that deaf German guy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Now, before I go, I want to tell you one last thing. I almost didn't make it tonight. I was driving to get here, and I put in my music so I could practice my songs. I was signing away when suddenly I noticed in my rear view mirror a cop was pulling me over. Oh my gosh, I've been sober for seven minutes. Why is he pulling me over? <laughs> the cop came over, knocked on my window, and said, Are you deaf? So my answer was, <laughs> and he went, I'm learning <laughs> ASL. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, everyone.